Why so serious? Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! Hello, my rag, my gal! Send me a kiss, my boy! Baby, my heart's on fire! Today we review one of the newer figures from the Star Wars Black series, the First Order Stormtrooper 6-inch figure. It is an excellent replica of the faceless throwaway stooges meant to be mown down by the thousands. The Stormtrooper comes in your color choice of ivory, white, bone, eggshell, linen, snow, or vanilla. I call it the Eye Trooper because it looks like Steve Jobs or his people at Apple are doing the cloning now. As you see, this is a black series box, but it is highlighted with red, which sets it off somewhat. The bio says that, equipped with sleek armor and powerful weapons, the stormtroopers enforce the will of the First Order. Well, good for them. And here is the Star Wars First Order Stormtrooper out of his box. Initial impressions, it looks cool, even if it is white instead of black, it stands well on its own and is fairly well articulated. The sculpting is fairly plain, but that's what you would expect from a Stormtrooper figure. The armor is supposed to be smooth. All of the major features of the classic Stormtrooper are in place, from the armor plating, the black and white color scheme, they even have the little beer can still mounted at the small of the Stormtrooper's back, just like the original Stormtroopers did. As far as new details go, there is the new helmet for the Stormtrooper, which some have said makes the Trooper look a little bit like Donald Duck. Wah, wah, wah. The new Stormtroopers also have a QR code, and what looks to be some sort of easy carry handle. The new movie is not out yet, so we are not exactly sure how the characters of the Stormtroopers will be portrayed. But if the Cartoon Network show was any indication, all of the new Troopers will have been cloned with Australian DNA. The Troopers will be like, Oi, Commander! Let's throw a few tried Federation types on the barbie. Have we proved that we're ethnically diverse enough with these horrible, exaggerated accents? Oi, 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 oi. Ugh. Sellouts. The figure is more stable on its feet than IG-88 was, but that's not exactly shooting for a Class 4 moon now, is it? Those of you who bought this figure thinking that if you pull the helmet off you will see some clone trooper's face underneath it will be disappointed. There is nothing under the helmet. There is nothing but the helmet. Which is just the way that you think a stormtrooper ought to be. Soulless. The figure comes with two gun accessories. Though I'm not sure why, because they can never hit anything with them. Both hands share a similar sculpt. They also have a smaller pistol which can be fit into the other hand. It doesn't hold onto them very tightly, so you'll have to be careful to make sure that they don't fall out. They were kind enough to supply a groove on the side of one thigh to use as weapon storage. Each gun has a slot on the side, which will allow you to push the gun into the thigh and mount it there. You are probably better off having the smaller gun mounted into the thigh, because the small gun does not hold well in either hand. It has a tendency to fall out, and if you are a small child, you could easily lose one of those guns at the playground. You can fit the finger through the trigger guard of this blaster in this hand. For articulation, the head will rotate 360 degrees. Ooh, look, he can see where he's coming and going. There are ball socket joints at the arms, but the shoulder plating inhibits movement so you can only raise them about this high. They will rotate 360 degrees in their socket. There is an elbow rotational joint. There is also the normal 90 degree bend. There is a wrist pivot, 
but again the armor plating prevents any full movement. As with most of the Black Series figures, they made liberal use of soft plastic with this mold, which could break if handled too roughly or pushed too hard. There is an upper torso rotational joint, which again will allow full 360 degree motion. Well, you can have him facing backwards and forwards at the same time. The waist joint does also allow for a bend up and down, which will allow for some good posing. Oddly enough, this figure could have had a full waist rotational joint, but does not appear to. The upper rotational joint is the only one that will allow for any kind of movement. There are ball socket joints at thighs, which will allow a swiveling forward and backwards, as well as splaying the legs in and out for wide stances. There is no rotational joint at the thigh or the knee, but the knee is double-jointed, which will allow you to bend the leg backwards, allowing for some of those funny Mario Donkey Kong poses. There is also a ankle tilt, which will allow the foot to bend slightly backwards and forwards, but again, you are advised not to make liberal use of it for fear of snapping the plastic eventually. There is even a slight pivot at the ankle, which will allow for wide angle stances. The paint applications are also fairly well done, although if you look closely at the figure, you will notice the points where they spilled over, or the paint did not apply evenly. These are very minor complaints, though, fit only for those who are truly nitpicky. I'm looking at you, Star Wars fanboys. If you're an army builder and have enough of these figures, you can have them form a conga line of sorts to imitate what the twerkers were doing at Times Square when they first announced the release of these figures. For size comparison, here is the Eye Trooper next to Futurama's Bender. Here he is next to Transformers Prime Voyager Class Megatron. And here he is next to Team Fortress 2's Pyro. Overall, I am fairly impressed with this figure. It feels quite solid, it is heavier than some of the other figures, it has extremely good posability, and will allow for both playability and display. The only real thing to complain about is the use of soft plastic for many of the joints, and the lack of a waist rotational joint. In summary, if you are a fan of the Star Wars franchise, you will not go amiss in picking up this figure. It looks excellent, it plays excellent, it is excellent. I give the Eye Trooper, I mean the First Order Stormtrooper, 9 out of 10 deaths. Now I'm going to go run to my bookie and see what the odds are that they will indeed have those horrible Australian accents. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me, then you'll be left alone, old baby. Tell them more, and tell me I'm your own.